Hi and welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning about route handlers. And the reason why we are learning about route handlers this late in the course is just because now we have server actions. And for the most part, you're just going to be using server actions instead of route handlers. But nonetheless, they're still very powerful and you still need to learn about them. In today's tutorial, we will learn about get request and in the following tutorials, we're going to cover the main route handlers. Go with Sloba. To create a route handler in Next.js is actually very, very easy. You just need to create a file with a specific name and export function from it. So let's see how we can do this. To create a route handler, you need to create a new folder. So this folder needs to be in the app folder and the name of this folder needs to be API. The naming convention is very, very obvious. Now, inside of the API folder, we want to create a new folder and the name of this folder is going to be route path. So for our case, it's going to be tasks. So this is how you create actual route handler path. So this is really up to you. Whenever you are creating a new route handler, you just need to create a new folder inside of the API folder. And then this is going to be the path of your API. So now in order to handle this API request, you need to create a new file and the name of this file should be route.js. So this is the naming convention that you always need to follow. Now inside of our route.js file, we can access databases, other servers, same what we can do from the server actions. Let's first import Prisma because in this tutorial, we're just going to be reading from our database and we're going to export a get request. So let's import DB from, and actually we have this inside of the utils folder. So utils for slash DB like this. And here we just need to export a function and this is just going to be an API method. So if you want to get data, we're using get method. If we want to post something, we would use post. If you want to update, we would use patch and so on and so forth. Delete. And you're familiar with this one. So for the first one, we're just going to use the get. And this is going to be asynchronous function. And here we can access the request. We're not going to be using for this tutorial, but just so you know. In this get request, we're going to get all the tasks. So let's store them inside of a new variable and let's name it as tasks. And we're going to await for the request to finish. And we're going to call our Prisma and task table. And we're just going to call find many method like this and now when we have this task we want to return them there are multiple ways to actually return something from the api request but in this case we can use browser api so let's just return response and we can use the method of json and inside of the json we can return let's say property of data and we can provide the tasks like this so these are the tasks that we are getting from the, our database let's save this and now there are multiple ways how you can actually test this one of the easiest way is just go to the browser and test this route that we have just created. So let's just go and do that. And here in the URL, we can just type in here, API for slash tasks. And now you can see that inside of the browser, we get the response from the database here. So these are all the tasks that we have. And as you can see in the format, this is the data property that we have created. And also we have these objects actually, which are the tasks. And as you can see, it's very easy to create route handlers in Next.js. In the following tutorials, we're going to cover rest of the route handlers. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.